Coach Jenna here. I want to talk to you guys today about your before and after pictures and measurements, why they're important, and how to take them. Because frankly, I was tired of sending everybody two different videos to do it. So here it is, all in one. So why do you want before pictures? Well, first of all, I can speak from personal experience that I took two pictures before I started. And now that I've lost all the weight that I have, it's one of my biggest regrets um, because I deleted those two pictures after I saw any transformation. And then I took more before pictures and then my phone died and they all went away again. So take your before pictures because you can see that transformation and it's really awesome to see once you've started making that progress. And a lot of the times the scale will tell you something different because you're gaining all this muscle and as we know, muscle weighs more than fat. So taking those before pictures and measurements as painful as they are when you first take them are actually really cool. So I'm gonna start with the poses. So I'm gonna uh, put my tape measure down and I'm gonna talk to you about the different poses. Beachbody recommends 12 different poses, so I will show you them um, in a Vogue-esque way. And then I will show you my personal favorite because apparently that's not one of Beachbody's favorites. So here it is, number one. You wanna make sure that you have your hands down at your side. Oh, and make sure that you are wearing um, clothing that you're comfortable in and that will show your results. For the purpose of this video, I'm actually wearing a tank top, but normally I wear shorts and a sports bra for my own personal one so that I can see any ab definition that may or may not come eventually. So, picture number one, hands at the side, feet are together, picture number two, and picture number three, don't forget to show those guns. Um, the next step, you're gonna turn around and do those same poses on the back. So, side, hips, guns. And then they recommend taking pictures of your side, which is where I typically find the most progress and I see the most progress in myself. So they recommend turning to the side. You're going to do your right and left side because apparently your left side might show more. But hands by your side, hands on your hips, oops, both hips. And then swivel your feet, you can't see me doing it, about 45 degrees and then you turn your shoulders towards the camera. What this shows is your ab definition, and you want to do this on both sides. So I'm going to turn this way and to here. And I'm also going to take pictures here, here as well. Now my personal favorite is to do the leg out pose. For whatever reason, I find that I get um, a lot of progress being able to be shown on that. So I pop one leg out and pose here, and then I do it on the other side as well for good measure. So I actually take 14 pictures. Now your measurements for this, you're gonna want a measuring tape. Um, most of them come with the Beach Body programs that you order. If it doesn't and you don't have a measuring tape and you don't feel like going out to buy one, um, I actually started using yarn and then I would take the yarn onto a ruler or like one of those tape measures that you use in your house and I would spread it out so that I could get my inches. Now, granted, it's probably a rough estimate, but it was better than not taking it at all, and I know that not all of us have this here. So Beachbody recommends that you start at your top half and work your way down. So I'm gonna take a few steps back so that you can see everything that's happening. So I don't have really big muscles, but um, because of that, I actually take, I do this myself, by the way, so my feet are together, um, my legs are together, and I, you measure from your shoulder to your elbow, and then you go halfway. And for me, I turn it this way, and then I measure. If you have a peak in your arm, and you can just see that highest peak, that's the point that you wanna measure. And you're gonna do that on both your right and your left arm. Um, especially if you're a righty or a lefty, sometimes you'll find that your right or left arm, whichever is your more dominant arm, is going to be a little bit bigger, and that's pretty normal. Um, <clears throat> the next spot that they tell you to measure is your chest, and you want to go right across your nipples. <laughs> Sorry for using that word, but that's where you want to go. So like the biggest part of your chest, and the way you do this by yourself, because they want you to have your um, arms down to the side, um, is I typically hold it with one hand, like so, 
and then just measure across. You don't want to cut off circulation. Make sure that you wear the same bra both times that you are taking your measurements so that you're getting an accurate thing. If you're a guy, you don't really have to worry about that, so good on you. Um, and make sure that you're writing all these numbers down, which I'm obviously not doing as I make this video. So I'm gonna take that number, write it down. Then I'm gonna slide down in my waist. And this is where most people get it um, mixed up because as girls, we learn that our waist is up here, which is really weird because nobody wears pants at that height. You actually wanna go over the center of your belly button. So it's gonna cover your love handles, which I know that none of us want, but you know, they're there. And that's where I've seen a lot of difference in myself. So I'm gonna take that measurement. Again, it's gonna be tight, but not tight where it's impacting my side in any way. And my feet are still remaining together. And then the last measurement, um, not sorry, not the last measurement, but I'm gonna go on my hips. And as you can see, I'm trying to find the biggest part of my hips. Again, not really tight, but kind of loose and getting an accurate measurement all the while I'm writing this down. And then the last part, moving down the body, I'm gonna spread my legs, hip or shoulder width apart, and I'm gonna balance my weight out evenly. Then you take the um, inseam here and you go halfway down. So it's halfway between the inseam and your knee, and you take that measurement there, wrap it around, standing up straight and tall, which is nice if you have another person. If you don't, you can be like me and just make sure that your weight is still distributed evenly and do that on either side. If you get real adventurous, this isn't something that I personally do, but you can also do your calves and you wanna do that at the peak of your calf, so where it's the biggest part of your calf. They don't have a specific way to measure that one in between. Um, it's not one that I've particularly done because I don't think my calves make that big of a difference, but of course, now that I said that, it's probably the biggest difference of all. So I hope that helps, and I hope that you are taking your before and after measurements. You wanna to try to do these every 30 days. When I feel like I am really out of it, um, sometimes I'll do them more often because it's good to see the progress that you're not necessarily seeing on your scale. So if you start to get down and think that it's not happening, Check out your measurements, check out your before and after pictures, do a nice little side by side and keep on going because you are making progress whether you can see it on a daily basis or not. Good luck with your transformation. Bye.